Okay guys, right, we're in for a bit of a treat today. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect my Timac to my NVRI, so my 5 Series NVRI Artificial Intelligence. This is a new thing. I'm now gonna take the thermal monitoring access control temperature reading and populate the readings down the right hand side of the preview pane on the actual NVRI. Now I'm completely by myself today, hence the actual camera on a tripod here. So of course, like a, if there's any mistakes, then I'll just have to correct my Myself and no video editing and then of course like uh, the, the temperature reading then of course what I'd have to do is I might stop the actual video and start it to get a good accuracy reading but like uh, let, let's get started so first of all what we do is we do temperature monitoring only and let's see how the actual MVR interacts so what I'm gonna do is take this off of there and I'm just gonna take a quick look Access granted. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're well, off to a great start. 36.6, 36.7. Let's just do another couple. Access granted. Okay, good. Still on the 36. Access granted. Right, okay, perfect. Okay, so so the actual mask mode is in fact, so sorry, in this case here, temperature only. So temperature only is in fact actually working well, pushing the data from the TMAC to the actual NVR, NVRI. Right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate mask mode and then we'll see on how the NVRI interacts this time also. So, we just press this button, I'm just gonna log in, then change my face parameter to mask intercept. Okay, right now let's, uh, let's do another test. Please wear your face mask. Okay, perfect. Okay, mask abnormal. I think on the uh, next firmware version that we do, I think it actually says no mask, but let's just check again. Please wear your face mask. Good, excellent. 36.3, so it's very good to be very consistent. Okay, let's do this. Access granted. Good, okay then. So, we've got a per perfect reading. Another 36.3. Right, okay. Now, because obviously we're sending the actual data straight from the actual TIMAC to the actual MVR, then of course we want the MVR to interact as well. So I'm just gonna jump out of scene, get the actual menu structure up here, and then of course we'd actually see on what the MVR could do in the event of no mask or mask, okay? So, let's see here, so, main menu, then we're gonna go into AI, parameters, and of course, Door access control is at the bottom. Door access control, because in this particular case here, it is obviously a access control thermal monitoring system. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight into mask, and then of course what I'm gonna do is click on buzzer, and I'll press on apply here. Okay, so now what I've told is I've set the actual NVR to beep or maybe PTZ tour or full screen display or to send email in the event that somebody does not wear a mask. So let's put the mask back on. Access granted. Okay, right, perfect. A nice happy NVR. Please wear your face mask. Perfect, right, okay, so mask abnormal. So let's just go and take a quick look. Let's make sure that everything's okay. Main menu, AI, door access. Okay, my mistake, like I said, I'm by myself on this one. Uh, I didn't change it from um, channel one to channel two. So of course that's channel two. So of course now it's on D2, buzzer, mask mode. Okay, let's do it another one. Okay, so. Access granted. Good, happy. Please wear your face mask. Hit up. Okay, so in this case here, unhappy MVR. So what we've done is we've taken the actual data relayed from the thermal monitoring access control to the actual MVR. It's detected that I'm not wearing the mask and now I can use all of the baseline MVR triggers. Push notifications. We could do, uh, what else could we do? PTZ tour, full screen display, I'll relay out, uh, email notification. Now it's our NVR feature, so in this particular case here. Now what we could do is we could actually trigger the alarm because you're not wearing this, okay? Right, okay, so let's move on to the next one. So, face recognition. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put my, add my face into the actual database 
go into unlock mode, unlock mode, and I'm going to access regular. Okay, so I'm in the actual database, so let's now see in fact actually how it interacts. So, okay, nothing so far. Okay, abnormal face, let's make sure I've done everything right. No, I didn't do it right. I forgot to change the unlock mode to face recognition. I've done it right now. Okay, so in this case here, we have a abnormal mask detected, but then of course what we've done is it holds the actual database within the actual TIMAC, but it's now relayed the actual TIMAC database to the actual MVR, and we can actually now verify who the person is. So we heard the beeps early on. We heard the beep just now. Okay, so that's a unhappy MVR. So now the actual MVR knows who that person is and, the per and that particular person that doesn't have a face mask. So, okay, so in this case here, so my temperature is okay. I've got a mask on, but it doesn't know who I am now. Oh, I got me there. Well, that was a good one. Okay, so in this case here, it thinks that it's an 85% probability that even with my mask on, that of course these two people are the same, and of course the access, access was granted. That's a good hit. Okay, so of course like, what we've done now is we've relayed the actual temperature to the device. Well, let's take a look at that too. I am button, main menu, AI, smart search face detection channel 2, the mistake that I made earlier on. So we can say a search. Okay, there's all of our faces. Then we're going to go into face recognition, channel 2. There's whenever it says, there's that 85% that just hit earlier on. Okay, so we've got some good hits in the actual system here. And then of course, like down here, if I even go back into it, is that if I could do face detection or face recognition, at the bottom here, I have the actual temperature where I can actually do high, normal, or low. Now, that is the actual harder part. That is the harder part of a demonstration. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the hot water here, but you know, we're, we're just gonna run with it. It's very difficult to actually make it trigger, but I'm gonna try, try it anyway. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna put it back to temperature mode just for this quick test. So uh, access, unlock mode, temperature mode. Press on the home button. So that should just be temperature mode. Okay, and then what I do is I turn the actual uh, mask off. So I'll enter this system face parameter mask mode no detect. Press on home. Okay, guys, I said that I would clip it. This is very difficult just using a, a couple of water the parameters specifically looking for a face, and I keep on putting a cup in the way. Let, let, let me just see if I can get another one. Just one sec. Access no. Access granted. Access granted. Please move closer. Your temperature is too high. Oh, there we go. I got, I got, I got one. Okay, it's got quite difficult with this. Right, okay, so there we go. We've actually got the high temperature that has now been detected. So of course, now that because I have that, I can now go into main menu, AI, face detection, temperature high, and there, there they all are, okay? There's the actual high temperatures that we've got there now, okay? Now, what we can do, so if, if I can trigger it again, if I can trigger it again with the actual um, water, then of course I can go into temperature monitoring on the actual threshold, turn the actual buzzer on there, press on apply, look at all of those other features that we could use, alarm upload, send email, record channel, PTZ activation, um, tour, so on and so forth, voice prompt from the actual MVR in this case. Right, so of course temperature only. Okay, right, once again, a difficult a difficult challenge for me, but let me try it. Access nope, granted. I didn't get it. Access granted. Nope. Please move closer. Your temperature oh, I got one. Right, okay. 
47.2, and you heard the actual MVR um, beep just then. So then that must mean that the TIMAC, the TIMAC unit, thermal monitoring access control, relayed the actual data to the MVR, the MVR hit the trigger, and then of course we saw the actual buzzer. So now we can actually make this alert out on this, okay? So, okay guys, right, as far as I'm concerned, uh, this, uh, you know, difficult video for me today, I'm by myself, however though, uh, I think this will change a great deal of applications and solutions. We got the temperature monitoring from the TIMAC to the MVR, preview mode, we have the mask mode on or off, relayed on the actual MVR. We have face recognition from this database to the NVRI, and then of course we actually have the heat temperature being relayed from the actual device to the MVRI also, and then of course we could do whatever we want with triggers. Okay guys, hopefully this has been educational as always. Right, uh, I will see you again soon. Okay, all the best.